Hi everyone, this is a quick follow-up on forbearance and foreclosure, which we talked about a couple of videos ago. Welcome back to the channel. With the recent extension of the eviction moratorium for renters, the question becomes, what's out there for mortgage holders? So if you're in forbearance and you've applied and been approved for forbearance, what happens now? We look ahead and we see that forbearance was really going to be terminated around September. Normally, if you went through normal forbearance, if you were 120 days delinquent on your payments, they could start eviction procedures against you. Well, when we look at the numbers out there right now, we see that in September, 1.7 million homeowners would be eligible for eviction immediately. Currently, there are almost 3 million total households that are behind or delinquent on their payments for their mortgages. That makes up about 4.6% of the marketplace, total number of folks who are behind in payments. But the ones who are really far behind, about 1.7 million could be evicted as soon as September hits. Now, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau has sent out guidance hoping to extend the grace period from September till the end of December, meaning they'll give folks another three months, even if they were eligible for eviction in September, to try to work with their lender in order to restructure their loan. And they're encouraging lenders to restructure loans for those folks who are impacted by COVID. Will this happen? We'll see. But right now we do know that there's, again, pitting two sides against each other. We have those who hold the note who are losing money every month, but we also have folks who are impacted through no fault of their own by COVID and can't pay for that mortgage. So what do we do? Legally, you have to view the property as the possession of the trustee, the one who holds the note on that property. Until that note's paid off, that person in Arizona anyway is known as a trustee, can possess that property if you fail to make the payments according to the contract that you signed. So while it's legal to evict people, is it the right thing to do if they've been impacted again through no fault of their own? We'll wait and see if these rules are adopted. Another thing that the CFPB did was they warned lenders that they really need to be proactive in helping to solve this problem as people enter that period of time where they can be evicted from their home encouraging the lenders to work with the borrowers to again restructure or find a way for them to pay back that money in forbearance now for those 1.7 million who are not all of them are a year behind but many of them are at least a year behind will they ever be able to catch up and if they sell their home can they get out of that debt well you know that if they sell that home they will have to pay back first all that money that was in forbearance because that's a debt rightly owed to the lender at that point, how much is left? And in this marketplace, are there homes that they could find to move to? Clearing themselves out of that situation by getting rid of that debt, getting rid of that forbearance, and sort of having a clean slate before they have to declare bankruptcy or be evicted. Both of which will negatively impact their credit score. There's a lot of decisions to be made in the future. And if you need any help, if you have any questions about this, please give me a call.